Hello everyone, Kayla here and this is What The Kink, a natural hair channel where I share my personal hair journey and tips, tricks, and product reviews to help you with your own. In my yearly hair update video, you guys heard me say that I was interested in growing my hair a little bit longer this year, but I was not going to go out of my way to do so. So when Moeri Beauty came in my way with products that were boasting of hair growth, but not from like that gimmicky grow hair fast kind of way, but more so just, you know, from a let's strengthen the hair and improve the quality of scalp kind of way, y'all already know what I said. So this video is sponsored by Moeri Beauty. They sent over several products for me to try and so the products that I'm going to be trying here and um, giving you guys the breakdown on are these. I have their mineral shampoo. I actually have more than one of these and I'm actually excited about it but we're going to get into it. And then I have their mineral conditioner and then I have the mineral repairing hair mask as well. The products range in size from this one I believe is 3.4 ounces and then these are 8 ounce products. Now, of course, there's a difference in size, but every single product retails for $35 on the Moeri.com uh, website, which will be in the description box for you to check out. Now, of course, people are probably like, oh, that's a little bit expensive. And that just firmly places them in the luxury category as far as the price goes. And you know what? As I often say, Gucci cost what it cost and ain't nobody complaining about it. So, of course, though, if you are looking to save a little bit of coin, because you know, they they offer bundles on there, and the bundles definitely lop off the cost per product, and then you can get a little bit cheaper by using my link and my code, which will be in the description box, and that'll take 10% off for you if you want to try these out. So, anyway, a um, couple of general comments before I get into the individual products. Uh, first of all, the scent, okay? I want to make a comment about the scent. Every single product has the same scent. It is an orange scent. Usually these types of brands such as Moeri, they usually go in a, um, when they do citrus, they usually go the lemon route. But they went orange and it actually reminds me of orange tang, okay? And I was just like sitting up here washing my hair and just being enveloped in the orange tang, like, <laughs> vibes. I actually was actually really liking it. <laughs> So anyway, uh, then another uh, comment about the ingredients. So Moeri is a cruelty-free brand. I checked the ingredients of all the products that you guys are going to see here. None of the products have animal-derived ingredients, so therefore the products, like your girl, are vegan. And y'all know, if they weren't vegan, they wouldn't be on this channel, and it is what it is. So let's get into the first product here, which is the shampoo, all right? So the first five ingredients of the shampoo are water, cocoa propyl betaine, cocoa glucoside, sodium cocoyo isthenate, and sodium lactate. Now, of course, you may have noticed here that there are three cleansers in the top of the ingredients list. So I knew that it was, even though this is a sulfate-free cleanser, this was going to actually clean my hair pretty thoroughly. And we'll get back on that. First, the texture. The texture is kind of like, not thick, but thicker than your typical shampoo. This is not a runny, um, watery shampoo, which I like because I've tried some in the past that were um, more watery and I feel like I was using too much product. So I like that with this one, it, okay, it's, it's kind of thick, which I, which I enjoy. Another uh, note about the ingredients, going back to that, is that all of them contain, all the products from Moeri, even the conditioners and stuff like that, contain these ingredients that are almost skincare like in fact these ingredients are found in skincare products which makes sense if you're trying to improve the quality of your scalp i mean it's skin so you've got um the caffeine this l-arginine and then they have something called fulvic acid which is like the what i was reading on it, it sounds like a a hype man it like boosts the effectiveness of other things so I was like, okay, I've never put caffeine on my scalp before. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. All right. We're trying to grow this hair, sis. So we're going to do, you know, if it, and if we're promoting healthy hair care, sure. Because I'm all about being healthy with the, with the hair care. All right. So anyway, let's talk about me actually using this. So when I was using this, the lather is pretty good. 
um, I did not use a whole lot of shampoo for it to burst up and lather the way that it did on the first lather typically especially if you know I've come from uh, having a lot of products on my hair I usually don't get much of a lather the first time around and then the second time you get a lot more so of course since this had a very healthy lather the first time when I then went to do the second one, I think I only did like two little drops of shampoo, one on one side of my head, one on the other side, and like, poof. So very, very lathery. And then of course being enveloped in that orange scent the whole time. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, I did enjoy the shampoo and of course with the ingredients, I was like, let me wash the scalp, me, you know, and there was, you know, like I didn't have any experience, any like reaction or whatever to uh, these ingredients being on my scalp, which is also cool as well. In case you're someone who's more sensitive, you might want to look into that though. So next product in line is the conditioner and the mask. So because they're both products that you would follow up a shampoo with, I did one side of my head with the conditioner and the other side of my head with the mask. So let's talk about the conditioner first, all right? Because I think that's what I applied first. So the first five ingredients of the conditioner are water, cedar oil alcohol, which is a fatty alcohol. It provides like slip and weight and stuff like that. Um, Stearometropropyl dimethylamine, um, and then coconut oil, and then macadam macadamia oil. This also still contains uh, fulvic acid, but it does not contain, oh, I must have missed this. It does not contain the, the, the caffeine or anything like that, but it does have the fulvic acid present in it. So, um, with the conditioner is actually surprised me uh, I, I don't know I just had bad luck with a couple of conditioners that come in this kind of container this actually squeezes out perfectly fine the texture is definitely thick enough that you're like yes it's a conditioner it's doing something on my hair but it's not so thick that you can't get it out of this container and y'all already know who I'm talking about these different brands where you can't hardly get it out of the container and you like why did you put it in this with Moeri that's not a problem it came out perfectly fine um, it's kind of yeah, kind of like a like a lotion, um, a thinner lotion, but not like you you know lotions that you put on. You're like, okay, this is gonna actually moisturize something. That's where I'm at with with this. Okay, so uh, it does have oils kind of high up on the ingredients, but it does not have an oily texture to it. It does not leave like a like a coating on my hair when I rinsed it. All right. So the detangling, let's talk about that. When I detangled my hair with this, it actually detangled a lot better than I was expecting since the ingredients list is so simple. And because it didn't have a whole lot of fatty alcohols and things like that, I guess maybe the oils are what helped it to actually detangle my hair so well. And also, I didn't feel like I lost coating of conditioner on my hair when I went and added water in it because you guys know my whole deep conditioning routine is that I add water throughout the process to help spread the product and also so I don't use a whole lot of product. So that it worked pretty well my um brush was just gliding through my fingers were gliding through as well since i do finger detangle before i brush detangle on the rinse out my hair rinsed out very nicely and it was left feeling very very you know like like i did something okay so the other side of my head was the mask and i know that's what y'all want to know about is the mask right i'm so mad about this mask i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you why i'm mad. tell them why you're mad kayla all right so the mask as you can notice is very small right I'm, I'm gonna talk about that i'm gonna get on it all right so the ingredients of the mask are actually very very similar to the ingredients of the conditioner so the ingredients the first five is water cedar alcohol coconut oil um and macadamia oil and then the fifth ingredient is shea butter which is something that is not present in the uh, conditioner. I also will note that this one does come back to using the caffeine, the fulvic acid, um, the the L-arginine. You're going to get those ingredients in the mask, but they are not in the conditioner, which is interesting. But anyway, let's focus on the first five. The first five is very similar, except it had um, it, it has the shea butter. So I'm thinking, oh, this is shea butter. This is going to be a thicker product. Um, this is going to probably. Um, I, I've used things with shea butter in the past and usually they do leave like kind of like a waxy coating on my hair when I rinse them out. So that's what I'm thinking, right? Girl. This thing is smooth as heck. <laughs> it is so smooth. It's like almost like, you know that, that, that kind of like foamy, soft texture of shaving cream. That's what this feels like when you're actually like using it and putting it in the hair. 
when I added water, cause like I said, that's what I do. The water went on right in, this thing spread the slip. I'm gonna have the footage and you gonna see how the how my brush is going through my hair with this. Okay, you gonna see. <laughs> you gonna see, all right? Okay, and then after I did that, um, there actually, I think, y'all can look and tell me if I'm wrong, I feel like there was, my curls were popping when I rinsed this. And I did try to get close to the camera so y'all could see that. So I don't know if y'all gonna agree with me or not. Maybe I was tripping because when I film, all I can see is the little, the little viewfinder. I can't really see all the detail or whatever that y'all gonna be able to see on your screen. So there's that. Okay, so... I know y'all gonna be like, well, we got lots of hair and so on and so forth, and this is only 3.4 ounces. I wanna show you how much I use. And I did half my head. Y'all have seen me, I got lots of hair. Half of my head, I ain't trying to be funny, it's some folks whole head. This looks, if you recall the, the footage from the texture shots, it looks like I used very little. I used almost nothing. I'm so mad that I like this little mask so much. Y'all, the slip on this and everything. Yeah. I'm starting to repeat myself because that's how I feel. Now, I know for me personally, I typically, for a, a, a eight ounce, which is about double this size, I usually get four to six uses. So that's like a month to a month and a half. So for this, I'm, I was expecting initially to get two to three uses, something like that. You know, maybe roughly half of the amount of time that I, I'm, the use that I get. And my normal use like on average is usually six. Six is about average for me with an eight ounce. So I was expecting about three uses out of this. Now there is that rare occasion that sometimes the texture makes me use a little bit less product and I get more uses. And this reminds me of another product that is a six ounce product that I got six uses out of because I was only using, um, I was getting a use per ounce. So I'm probably going to be able to use this an entire month in this small little container with this much natural hair. Yes, I only did half my head this time around, but this this is definitely telling me what's gonna happen when I'm go ahead and do my whole head with this. So yeah, okay, they knocked it out apart with this with this hair mask on, on everything. If somebody came up to me and they said you could only have one Moeri Beauty product, like you can't have anything else, like what would be my top pick? And honestly, it's kind of hard to say depending on what angle that you're going from. So okay, put it this way: if I'm trying to be really smart. Okay, I know that I want to grow my hair. That's a goal. I don't really need to strengthen my hair or improve the quality very much because I have fairly healthy hair. So if I'm going to spend this much money on a Moeri Beauty product, I'm going to probably go for the shampoo just because the shampoo contains those skincare type ingredients and here I am sitting and massaging it on my scalp. And I'm trying to grow my hair. So I would go for the shampoo in that regard. Now if I'm just not making a smart decision and I'm just going off of craziness and and just getting whatever i want to get i would have to say the mask because the mask also has those ingredients and you know i'm not putting it directly on my scalp but y'all know a little bit of this is going to come in contact with your scalp if you can't put it that close and massage it through and do all these things without it somehow a little bit getting close to your scalp right so the slip and all that that's worth it and then I know that with my regular deep conditioning routine that involves adding water to the hair and that kind of stuff I'm not using a whole lot of this product at once so it's a tie for me between the shampoo and the mask and I, I honestly am hesitant to put one over the other now of course I put the conditioner in third place not because it's bad or anything but because the mask just outperformed it period and it also doesn't have those cool ingredients that are in the shampoo and the mask so that also knocked a point off for the conditioner for me, just saying. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you wanna stick on my channel, I got some videos over here for you to check out. 
subscribe. I post videos every week and I will talk to you in the next one.